Britain's biggest high street bank, Lloyd's, is to cut 15,000 jobs within the next couple of years and will reduce its international presence by 50%. It's hoped that the plan will save Lloyd's one and a half billion pounds and the latest round is in addition to the 30,000 jobs already being lost at the bank. As our business editor Robert Peston explains. Lloyd's, the black horse that feasted on HBOS at the end of 2008 and some would say poisoned itself, is becoming leaner with the loss of 15,000 jobs by the end of 2014, which will take to 45,000, the reduction in employment at Lloyd's since the HBOS takeover. That's the same number of people no longer working for Lloyd's as would Phil Anfield to bursting point. It's such an enormous scale of of job cuts that have been planned, um, that everybody must be shocked about this and people must remember that these are jobs of working people at working salaries and not the investment bankers that have caused a problem that people have suffered with for the last two or three years. The point of the cuts is to reduce annual running costs by £1.5 billion. Another cost-saving measure that will have a big impact on other businesses is a plan to cut the number of suppliers of goods and services from 17,000 to less than 10,000. So why the pain? We as taxpayers own 41% of Lloyds Bank and we need the share price to rise to the point that we've made a profit. Now Lloyds have made a good start by reducing some of the costs in the branch network and they're now doing the same amongst management and administrative staff to cut costs and to maximise areas where they're making the real profit for the future. HSBC is also getting in on the cost-cutting act with a loss of 700 UK-based jobs. Meanwhile, across the road at Lloyd's, there are no plans to shut branches. In fact, the group's chief executive said to me that he wants those who work in the branches to sell more products and services, such as insurance, to the bank's 30 million customers. Lloyd's, as the biggest retail bank in the UK, plays a vital role in lending to small businesses and households. So, for its chief executive, Antonio Horta Osorio, Britain's economic recovery will be weaker until Lloyd's itself is strong again, though for those losing their jobs, the price of mending the bank isn't small. Robert Peston, BBC News.